Anthony Harwig here with another Fitch Volleyball Player Profile. I'm joined by another senior, and Alyssa Melody. Melissa, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thank you for letting me be here. And uh, we talked about Fitch Volleyball. You guys are having such a great season. i got to start by saying you guys are now AAC champions. What's that yes, kind of we are. like after the win last night against Boardman? Oh, it feels so good. It hasn't happened in so many years for the Fitch Volleyball Program, and just – having it be my team my senior year is amazing and when you look at all your teammates who i've talked to you before they've said this was one of the goals from the start of the season you finish that goal and now what's what's the feeling around the team i know you were at practice today what's the feeling around the team like now that that goal you can check it off the list the feeling at practice today and just with the team is that we're hungry for more. We want to beat Canfield, even being AAC champions. Like we are looking to beat Canfield and uh, play Louisville, beat Louisville, go into tournaments just ready, ready to play. And I think because you are now champions, the deal's not done. You still have one more big game against the Cardinals next week. Uh, what's what's the what's the um, the mental readiness that you guys have for that game? Because sometimes it's kind of hard because you won the league. It's easy to kind of say you know, celebrate that too much, but how focused are you on Canfield? We're very focused on Canfield. We want to be undisputed AAC champions, go into um, the end of the season knowing that we're 8-0 and in our own conference, and we know that Canfield's been looking at us, they've been scouting us, and we're just ready to play. All right, a lot of seniors on your team. What's it like being part of such a big senior class? It's so – honestly amazing being such a big senior class like these girls my teammates they're a family to me they're all sisters to me um we've played since we were younger and just knowing that we've gone through all these years together like whether we were on different teams in middle school or if we were on like varsity jv like we were always there for each other no matter what and now when you look at it, you're kind of doing everything for the last time as a senior. How are, the, how are you dealing with the emotions of senior year? Just, it honestly, even now, like towards the end of the season, it still hasn't hit hard. Um, I don't know. It's just, we're all just so hungry. We are so happy that we're doing so good this season. And that's like all we focus on really. You got some younger talent stepping up into big roles this year as well. What's it been like gelling with the younger kids, the seniors, and watching them kind of find their stride on the team? Um, with Joe, she started playing with us her freshman year. And from the start, her and I were just so close. We were best friends. And I think having an upperclassman and um, underclassman like connection was a lot helpful for her. And for us, it was easier for us to like accept her because she was friends with us. She wasn't like scared to be around us. And with the juniors this year, we've played together since we were in fifth and sixth grade. Um, so we've always been close. We've always known each other. We've always been friends with each other. So it was honestly a really good year of just meshing together and being friends with each other. And what were some personal goals you set for yourself coming into the season that you kind of yourself wanted to accomplish? I'm sorry, you cracked up a little bit. The personal goals that you set for yourself in the season, what were they? Um, this season, I set for myself knowing that I was going to take the defensive specialist position was reading the hitters and knowing how to get a good pass to where Emma Bartlett, our setter, needed to um, get it so that she can set up our front row and get them going. The biggest thing was just focus on myself, keep this excitement up because our energy is so high all the time. And I have a really loud mouth. I love screaming throughout the games and – just keeping my head straight and making sure my passes are good are my biggest goals. And what's that feeling like? Because you have a lot of strong hitters in your conference. So when you get someone on the other team puts down a strong hit and you're able to get under it and put a perfect pass on it, what's that feeling like? Oh, that feeling is so good. Just knowing that you're passing the ball and then you're just praying that you get it up to where it's a good spot for our setter to set it and it is there. And you just get so much relief because you know a great hit's going to come off of that set. As a defensive specialist, you're doing a lot of the behind-the-scenes work, a lot of under-the-radar work. You know, no one looks at the digs when they look at stats in hand. What's that like for you doing the work, that, the kind of dirty work back there in the back row? Um, like, from the outside point of view, you don't really think about passing that much. But with our team, and especially our coach, um, we focus on passing so much. And our passers get complimented 
um, throughout the game, between sets, after the game. We are just so appreciated on the team, and that really boosts our confidence when passing, and it, it's so exciting. <laughs> And when uh, we went through this summer and we didn't even know if there would be volleyball season, there was so much uncertainty. I imagine you guys as a senior group had a really good time trying to keep everybody mentally focused and, and positive throughout the uncertainty of summer. What was that like? Um, keeping each other focused throughout the summer and positive. It was challenging at times, but also um, all of us played travel volleyball, which got cut short because of the virus. So going into liftings and going into open gyms, everyone was just ready to play and we were ready to get back out on that court, whether we had a season or not. And everyone was mentally preparing for this season to happen. And I think that we had, our hopes were so high for this season to actually happen that we didn't really think about the season not happening. And when you finally got the green light that volleyball was going to happen and you were going to have a season, what was that like for your team? so much relief because we knew like last year um we were building each other up a lot of us were juniors and we knew that we'd just get better when our senior season started so knowing that we can actually show what we are show who we are and what we can do was so much of a relief you brought up coach bartlett a little bit ago what's it like being under her and what's what's her coaching kind of style like being under, um, being coached by Coach Bartlett is, I love being coached by her. Um, I've been best friends with her daughter since we were in sixth grade doing little spiker camps. And um, she was a middle school coach when we were still in seventh grade until she got uh, promoted to the varsity head coach. Um, and she's such a relaxed coach and it really helps us throughout the game. Um, she knows what she needs done. She knows what she wants out of it out of us and she knows that we can produce what she wants so she has we have all of her confidence and she has all of ours and it's a really good dynamic and you know i've talked to her a couple times this season back in the beginning of the season that first canfield matchup you guys were down two cents to nothing you come back you win five do you think that was maybe even though it's really a turning point in your season where the confidence really started to get strong on your team Yes, it definitely was. Um, going into the second set and losing the second set was really like, it was heartbreaking on the inside, but I knew that our team was good enough to pull through and we could win. Um, so I knew in my head that I had to keep screaming. I had to keep cheering on our teammates. Even if we had like just a weird random play, like you are always screaming, even if you're on the bench, on the court, it doesn't matter. You always have to keep your teammates up. And after we won that third set, it was just a complete game changer. We knew that we could do this. We knew that we could get this done. And um, it was, it really was just a, like a good point for our team to see after so many years, like losing to Canfield um, and going in there and beating them, we knew that we could produce more and more and beat these hard teams. And you brought up the energy you guys needed for that win. Energy looks different in volleyball this season with the COVID-19 protocols. What kind of creative things have you guys done to keep the momentum and energy going, but also having to keep that six-foot barrier? Um, keeping that six-foot barrier is kind of hard. So we, my, one of my close friends, Joe Jordan, and I, we do random cheers on the sidelines. We do them when one of us are on the court and one of us are off the court, just making sure that we keep each other energized and ready. We scream, we yell, we cheer. It's so much fun with or without being able to high five each other or whatever. Do you have any uh, pregame routines that you have to stick to? Um, Emma and I do a weird handshake that we've done since sixth grade travel club. And we do it almost every single game unless we forget, but every single year, almost every game we've done it. And then Joe and I, when we get aces, we do an ace cheer that we make fun of that we used to do in middle school. And it's just, like an enjoyable thing to do because it makes each other laugh. What's your favorite uh, post-game meal? It's something that you get to put into your body after a really tough volleyball match. Um, I <laughs> lately I've been eating a lot of green bell peppers with green with cream cheese, and that's what I've been calling dinner. Um, I also really pre-game and post-game off of coffee, <laughs> and those are my meals.
that might be the most unique answer to that question I've ever had. Uh, I want to talk about last night again because it was such a special moment off the court where Boardman was having done um, for their give back match. What was it like being a part of that moment? It felt really good. Um, knowing that our parents and our fans donated to her cause and we got to play with them um, and hearing what happened to her, it's really heartbreaking, but knowing that we were able to be there and help raise the funds and we were a part of that game felt really good. I mean, was it nice to have this moment where the, the lines that a rivalry get kind of crossed and you guys get to join in a team for something bigger than yourself? Yes. Um, when we were, when it was game time, we were just out for blood. We were ready to hit that ball so hard and pass all of their hits and um, pass all of their serves. But um, off the court, we actually know each other pretty well just from club season and everything. And doing this uh, donation for her felt really good for both of us. And I know that the teams talked to each other outside of the court and we were all talking about it and just, it felt really good. I like that you brought up the camaraderie that, that club volleyball brings. What kind of advantage does it give you when you get to go and have reps in club volleyball in the off season? Talk about it to coaches all the time. What kind of advantage it is to have players that have club volleyball experience on their team? So for you personally, what does that do for you to get those extra reps in the off season? Um, personally for me, when I was at the club with a lot of my own teammates, um, we were worked really hard. We all played on the same team. So that built a lot of that team chemistry that we needed. Um, and then the other girls that weren't on our team also played in different clubs and organizations on very difficult levels. Like our coaches, because of how good we've been throughout the years, they didn't ever want us to be in bad tournaments where we wouldn't get hard teams hitting at us hard and um, just competitiveness. He, our coaches never let us not get competitive with teams and just being in gameplay almost the full year, really helps a lot just getting those reps through and through on your passing on your hitting on your serving it's such a help you know what are some future goals that you kind of set for yourself after you graduate um like career wise college wise yeah both whatever <laughs> okay where do you um, see yourself now? I have been looking at the College of Charleston in South Carolina for the past year, and that's where I plan to go to school. I have a visit down there in um, November, and I'm actually looking to play softball there because that is my main sport, but um, I plan to major in political science, and I hope to get into, a, into the CIA or the State Department, something like that, so those are my plans. I love you made me the, the CIA when I, I was at your senior night and so many of your senior teammates also either want to be in the CIA or law enforcement. Um, is that kind of like when you look at your teammates, is that kind of a, a universal mentality that they all have that kind of attitude where you know they want to be a part of that law enforcement uh, career path? Yeah, our team really wants better for the world and better for each other, and we're all just so positive. And I think we want to make a positive impact on our country or just the community around us. And I think it's a really good thing. What kind of things make you proud that you go to Fitch and that you get to represent the colors and, and that you're just a Falcon? Um, the connection that uh, our coach, our strength and conditioning coach, Daniel Wedding, has put between all the teams, um, all the sports teams, like the football team, the volleyball team, and soccer team are all so close and we're so connected and we all support each other no matter what. Um, so I'm really proud to have a good connection with the athletics. Um, I'm also proud to have so many good classes offered by Fitch and our counselors for getting into colleges, talking to colleges. They are so good and they try so hard for us. Um, I also love our principals. Mr. Kelty is trying so hard to get us a homecoming this year, whether it be in the winter time or whenever, but I know that he wants the best for us and he wants our senior class to have the best senior year that we can with the circumstances that we have. So I'm very happy to be a Falcon. And with all of these player profiles, I'd like to give the player the chance to kind of thank their support staff, thank the people that have been there for them over the years. So I just want to give you the time to thank whoever it is you want to thank. You cracked up again. Could you say that <laughs> again? Uh, sorry. 
Um, with all these player profiles, we like to give the, the player the, the chance to just thank their support staff and the people that have been there for them through the year. So with that, I just want to give you the time to thank whoever it is you want to thank. Um, I want to thank my mom and dad so much because they have put so much effort into me playing volleyball and playing softball and getting me to practices, getting me there on time. And I really want to thank um, the middle school coaches who have built our connection through our girls from the time that we could barely even pass a volleyball to where we are now. And especially Coach Bartlett because she has done so much for this, um, for the Fitch Volleyball program. Um, always being positive and just making sure that we get done what we need to get done. Um, and I just want to thank all the fans for coming and supporting and all the parents because it means so much to have everyone cheer um, and get excited when we get good kills or aces or whatever. And it's a really good feeling. And before we let you go, I want to know, uh, during quarantine, we were stuck in the house for a while. What was your favorite quarantine activity? My favorite quarantine activity? Oh, I didn't even do very much in quarantine. Um, I started running for a little bit in quarantine. Um, I'm not a runner whatsoever. I get very short breath, but I'm, I tried very hard and it wasn't too bad. And I guess that that was probably my favorite quarantine activity. Hey, that's, that's good. You know, keep yourself in shape. Uh, Alyssa, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. We wish you guys at the volleyball team best of luck in the rest of the season. And we'll catch up with you again come softball season. All right. Thank you.